Okay, here we are. Don't know if anybody's there yet or not, but we are signed on five minutes early. And we are Bob and Susan McLendon. We're gonna lead morning prayer this morning. Let's see if I can get you over here. There's one. Good morning. And then Amanda's on. Good morning, Amanda. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You're always on. You, you always, every one of these. <laughs> They're amazing. And there's Vicki Stevens. Good morning. We're going to go. Hey, girl. Start our service here in four minutes. I would play music for you, but I found out that it's our crazy laws, it's illegal for me to play Amazing Grace in the background while we wait for 8 o'clock to come. Something doesn't seem right about that, but <laughs> at any rate, we'll be law abiding. <laughs> well, I have to figure out how to get this. It usually comes up. There we go. You found it? Got it? Got it. Okay. All right. I think we are set up. When you hear our grandfather clock strike eight in the background, that's when we'll start. I hope it does. I think I must. Oh yeah, it is. I got. It. I turned it on this morning. You had turned off a part of it, but not all of it. I know. I know. We need to turn it off afterwards for miles. <laughs> yeah, I can hum "Amazing Grace." I thought it was good <laughs> there. That's not illegal. I can't sing it. You don't want to hear that. I mean, <laughs> Vicky, if you were over here, you could sing it, but. Oh you my don't goodness. want us to sing. Betsy, you're up early this morning. <laughs> She's <laughs> always up early. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I found out the other day on you know, somebody's Facebook post? Amazing Grace can be played all on the black keys. It was a. Negro spiritual that was con you know, composed on a slave ship, apparently. And it, you know, it's, <laughs> and it's uh, played all on the black keys on a piano. I didn't know that. There may be ways to play it on white keys too, but you can play it all on the black keys. A little bit of trivia, we're two minutes away. We'll start morning prayer. It's our first time to do morning prayer. We've done conference several times, and morning prayer is a little bit longer, although we're going to do a little bit shortened version of it. I did notice in the fine print that you can, when it comes time to read the uh, scripture readings, it says read at least one or two, one or more. Uh, the scripture readings could be up to three. Well, we're going to read one this morning. But we're not going to skip the prayers. Yeah, I need to, if somebody's listening out there that plays the piano, they can confirm whether I'm right or not about playing Amazing Grace on the Black Keys. I, I saw it on Facebook, so it must be right. <laughs> the other good thing about these home services is you can take your coffee to church. One minute. Don't go away, Sis. One minute. Good morning. All right. Did you hear that in the background? It's going to strike eight times here in just a minute. Hmm. That one's slower, that one's fast. <laughs> All right, 8 o'clock, so we'll start morning prayer. We're going to start uh, on page 78, our opening uh, 
phrase will be on page 78 in the prayer book. <laughs> yeah. So if you have a prayer book and you're following along with us, turn to page 78, and I'll keep you posted on the pages where we are. Morning prayer in the prayer book is, can be a little confusing because there's a ton of options, but I'll lead you through it. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. And now we're going to turn to page 79. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. All together. Most Most merciful merciful God, God, we we confess confess that we have have sinned against against you in in thought and word and and deed. By By what we have have done and by by what we have have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Now then, it says all stand, but you don't have to stand. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Together, <clears throat> glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. I forgot to say, as we go along here, uh, and you have intercessions, please just enter them uh, as a com- on the comment uh, line. And I have another uh, iPad over here. I'm going to go back when it comes time for prayers, and we should be able to find them all and pray for everyone. So just... Enter your intercessions as we go. At this point, we're going to turn to page 82 and say together the Jubilate. It begins at the uh, bottom of page 82 and continues into page 83. Jubilate. We'll say this all together. Be Be joyful joyful in the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we're going to say Psalm 86, and you're going to have to turn way over to page 709 in your prayer book. Psalm 86, and Susan is going to lead us through this responsively by whole verse. Page 709. Psalm 86 starts at the bottom of page 709. Bow down your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Keep watch watch over over my my life, for I I am faithful. Save your your servant who puts his trust trust in you. you. Be merciful, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, and great is your love toward all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the time of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor anything like your works. All nations you have made will come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, and you alone are God. Glory to the Father, and and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit. Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I forgot to tell you only verses 1 through 10. Thank you. Now we're going to have our scripture reading for this morning. We're going to read Genesis for today. Genesis chapter 35, verses 1 through 4. Susan will read that for us. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 35, verses 1 through 4. 
Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there. Build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from, from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Get rid of the foreign gods you have with you, and purify yourselves and change your clothes. Then come, let us go to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and who has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods. Did I go too far? No. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods they had, and the rings in their ears, and Jacob buried them under the oak at Shechem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll turn to page 86. The bottom of page 86, we're going to read together the second song of Isaiah. Second song of Isaiah starts at the bottom of page 86 in your prayer book, and we'll read this together. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow falls from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that which I have sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Now, if you'll turn to page 96, we will say the Apostles' Creed together. Page 96. <clears throat> I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Page 97, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together here. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so now if you will turn to the top, of, it's not the top, the middle, I think, of page 98. We're going to say suffrage B. Suffrage B, <clears throat> page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. And now we are going to say three of the collects starting on page 99. First, we'll start with the collect for Fridays, page 99. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Now collect for grace. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And one more collect on page 100. I think it's the this, this second prayer there. Oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of this earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now is the time for intercessions and prayers. It also says at this point a, a hymn may be sung. I apologize, but Susan and I, you don't want to hear us <laughs> say a hymn. I really appreciate the morning prayer services where some of the people there sing a hymn. I've heard uh, Jeff and Sally Stillings, they sing a hymn, and uh, uh, Father Neil Michelle and his wife, Marita, I think is how he's made they sing a hymn sometimes, and but Susan and I are not going to sing a hymn. <laughs> this uh, virtual service has shown us how important it is for us to be singing in the midst of a, of a loud choir and congregation. <laughs> we do pretty good in that setting. But we are going to have intercessions and prayers, and I, I wanted to save plenty of time for this because I think this is maybe the most important part of morning prayer. And it's been our uh, practice as we led Compline for several weeks. First off, I want us all to pray together. You know, there's a lot we don't understand about prayer, but it's my experience that somehow, in some way, one characteristic of prayer is that more is better. More is better. So we're going to take a minute here of silent prayer. And all of you that are out there watching this and are with us, even if you're watching or with us uh, on recording later on this morning or today, uh, we're going to take one minute here of silent prayer and lift your prayers up to God. And uh, then with the end of that, I'll, I'll close it with the intercessions. One minute of silent prayer. Lord, we offer up all these prayers and we ask that you would hear them and answer them in a way that is best for us. And now I know there have been some intercessions coming through and I'm going to find those here. Lord, I pray that you would hear our intercessions as we bring them before you and we pray that you would, we know that you'll hear them and we pray that you would answer them in a way that's best for all concerned. We pray for Susan Petty, who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. We pray for her healing and recovery. We pray for Sue and James. Bless them, Lord, in accordance with their need. We pray for, we give some thanksgivings at this point. I understand there was successful surgery yesterday for Brian, and we're thankful for that. We pray for Cynthia, a nurse who's contacted the coronavirus, and she's very ill, Lord. We pray that you would Minister to her and heal her and bring her strength and, and health. Pray for Tyson, who had surgery yesterday. Pray that she gets, has a speedy recovery and that the biopsy she's had will come back clear and healthy. We pray for Kyle, who's been at Pine Cove this week. We pray that God touches his heart and that he comes back healthy. 
We pray for a discernment for Cheryl's job. Help her find a position where she has a better work-life balance and can spend oops, more time with her family. And we pray for Mimi Tanner, who is being evaluated for the virus and waiting for results. She fell yesterday, and uh, we pray that you would heal her and comfort her and bless her family as they surround her during this difficult time. We pray for Deanne, who has the virus. She's a caregiver for her son, Phil, who has cancer and is awaiting surgery. My goodness. We pray for her healing and her protection from the virus. We pray for healing for Joan, for Andrew, and for Shirley. Lord, we just lift up all these intercessions and we give them to you because we know that you will minister to these people that don't need your help in, in a way that's best for them. And Lord, I'm going to close our prayers with some big ones. Uh, we pray for a cure. We pray for a vaccine for this virus for the world. It's a big request, Lord, but you're a big God. And we pray that you would provide this cure and provide this vaccine in a way that's best for all of us. We pray that through us, you can make all things work together for good in spite of this, this dual pandemic. We pray for, the, for justice. We pray for the recognition of racial inequality and injustice that exists in the world that's been brought to the attention of the world. And we pray that you would lead us through this in a way that provides justice and equality and equal opportunities for all, all, all different people in this world. You made them all, you died for them all, and we pray for your grace to them all. Jesus Christ, name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. A little bit long on the prayers there, but that's why I skipped some of the scriptures just so we'd have more time for prayer. We're going to move now to page 101, and we're going to say together the general thanksgiving. <clears throat> page 101 in your prayer books. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father, Father of, all of all mercies, we, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants give, give you humble, humble thanks. thanks. For your, all your, your goodness, goodness and loving kindness to us and to, and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not, not only with, with our lips, but in our, our lives, by giving, giving up ourselves to your service, and, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, to whom to you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. ages. Amen. Amen. Now, page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. And uh, this is a, a wonderful honor and a great experience for us to be able to, to do this occasionally. So thanks for being with us. We pray that everybody has a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.